Let's take a look at the correct installation procedure for stretch fit belts on this 2010 Subaru Impreza with a 2.5 liter engine. For safety, always start the installation by turning off the vehicle and disconnecting the electric fan on the radiator. If you do not have the mounting tool, do not use a screwdriver or other tool to pry on the belt drive. It will damage the belt and possibly the pulley. Begin by removing the alternator and power steering accessory drive belt. Next, cut the old self-tensioning belt off with a utility knife or a pair of side cutters. Self-tensioning belts cannot be reused, so cutting them off makes the most sense. Now, place the new stretch fit belt around the AC compressor pulley and under the leading edge of the crankshaft pulley. Next, place the stretch fit guide tool between the AC and the alternator mounting bracket and tighten the bolt securely. On the crankshaft pulley, place the belt ramp tool over the groove pulley with the edge guides facing out and up against the pulley. To hold the belt ramp tool in place, Use the U-shaped belt ramp retainer by sliding the longer arm through the slot in the belt ramp tool with the lower or shorter portion of the retainer going through the underside of the pulley. Now, route the belt down under the long arm of the U-shaped belt ramp retainer. Pull the belt over the belt ramp tool edge that is on the top of the pulley. Make sure the belt ribs are properly aligned in the compressor pulley grooves. Rotate the crankshaft clockwise as you guide the belt around the pulley by allowing it to slide over the installation tool. This will be a very snug fit and seem as if the belt is too short, but keep turning the crank. Remove the installation tools and check to be sure the belt is aligned properly in all the pulley grooves. Rotate the crankshaft an additional 360 degrees clockwise and recheck the belt to make sure the ribs are properly aligned in all pulley grooves. Finish by checking the belt wear on the standard accessory drive and replace the belt and tensioner as needed. Gates recommends replacing all the belts and the tensioner at the same time. By design, these components wear at the same rate. Reconnect the electric fan and the installation is now complete. Here's what you need to remember about self-tensioning belts. Standard V-rib belts cannot be used to replace self-tensioning belts. Some aftermarket supplier catalogs still show standard V-rib belts as replacements for self-tensioning belts, so use caution since they are not interchangeable. The good news is that your Gates supplier has the right belt for your car or truck. They also have the reusable tools needed to replace them. Self-tensioning belts cannot be reused so if you take one off, always replace with a new stretch fit belt. The part number always ends with SF. Always check the inside of the stretch fit belt sleeve for the correct installation instructions. If you need further assistance with installation, call the Gates Tech Line at 303-744-5651. This and other helpful videos can also be found on the Gates website www.gates.com forward slash stretch fit. Gates continues to be the leader in the automotive aftermarket by providing the most highly advanced belts found in the marketplace.